We're going to go to the census website today for the U.S. and extract some data that will allow us to map demographic features. To do that, we go into www.census.gov, go into Geography, and then go down under Maps and Data, and then hit Tiger Products. Then down under Tiger Products, we do Tiger Line with Selected Demographic and Economic Data. Then under that, we go to the Detail Tables, and then we select our area. And for me, I'm going to do Connecticut, but you might have some other place you want to try, or you might want to do a census track or any of these other things, but I'm going with Connecticut for now. And it's going to download this under um, the arch, whatever that is right there. We'll save that. And then we go in there, show it in the folder. You can see I've done this a few times. And then we're going to extract it. Say extract this. Extract extract all and it's going into a folder. The geodatabase is going into a folder there. Now to get take our data in there we're I'm just going to work with the the uh, census data now. We go up to add data. If you think you can use catalog, no, don't use catalog. It'll make you it'll mess up your life. Go to add data and this is what we just downloaded. And we put that down there, say Add. And then it opens up all the things that were in there. You can see that there are gra charts for uh, Excel spreadsheets for a lot of things. They're rather big. And here's a shapefile. To get everything in there, we click the first one. And we if that's all we want to look at, we'd be fine. But we want to look at everything. So we'll say Add. That means you click the first one and then go to the last one, shift-click it, and then it'll all come in. Okay, so there's our s familiar state of Connecticut. And here is the shapefile. We can take a look at it, show you all the things in the shapefile. And they, um, here's the GeoID data. Now that's the, the field, I should say. That's all so what I was, in order to find out what these things all are, you have to find a code name or short name. That's a good way to put it. And it, it takes some time and look through this. You want to plot out all kinds of things. They have ethnicities and different uh, demographic features. I thought it would be fun to, to map out um, Educational levels. This is in, um, okay. F how about females with a doctoral degree? That would be, you know, see how many, how many are there? And or where are they distributed? Where's the, the population density? So there's, um, it would be B. You have to write this down. If you don't write it down, you'll wish you had written it down. B, 1500 to E, 35. And then what we want to do is right-click on our shapefile and go to Joins and Relates and then do a Join. And you want to join the attributes from a table. And the common area is going to be the GeoID. And the table we want to join with would be um, Educational Attainment right and we validate the join okay and we say okay then you can look in the table open the attribute table and you can see that all of those features the b which i think are the b1500 are the um what we're looking for we're looking for b15002 15002 E35. That's our, that's our list. That's what we're looking for right there. That's uh, 
females with a doctoral degree over and if you're over 25 so we'll just keep that in mind and it's there and then we can go double click this or right click and we can go to symbology and go to quantities and let's make a dot density map and then we go to be 1500 e35 right here put that over there our symbol is green we can change the color of that uh, how about a hot pink hot pink and that's good and our dot value if it's 10 that should be really interesting we can have our dot size be 2 I think I'll make it 5 or 4 the dot value is 10 and we can say apply and OK so now we can see where um, females with doctoral degrees in Connecticut are except that look here it changed the uh, dot density it didn't like what we chose so we'll go back into symbology the properties and change the dot value to how about 4 see 10 just didn't work now it's fairly uh, spread out so um, let's zoom to the layer so we see there aren't a lot of women with doctoral degrees up in north west Connecticut or east Connecticut um, probably you're not surprised to find it Yale this is Yale University is in New Haven here and um, they're spread out like that so that's fairly interesting um, another thing we could do we could have done with with this is um, I would put on the the towns um, let's see I'll put on uh, Connecticut and put on the towns so that way we would be able to see uh, I'll overlay the towns here and then make it see-through and and um, oh the outer edge should be something other than black um, make it purple Okay, make it one. So we should be able to, and we should also label the towns. Uh, look at what it did. We put Connecticut Town in there. So what we have to do is go in and find out what the town certainly is in Poly. I'll just put in town, and then it tells you which one of the towns. So see, New Haven is kind of loaded with women with PhDs, and then. Um, kind of just kind of a sprinkling here and there we get down to Norwalk this is where I live there are a few um, it's downtown Stanford one thing you, you can s there are a lot of uh, uh, high-end apartment buildings and uh, you know with people who commute to New York City do the reverse commute so um, there are probably a lot of PhDs in in uh, finance.